Hello everyone and welcome back to Parkasaurus where the first thing in the morning here in Daisy Meadows are my Triceratops and Stegosaurus kind of completely losing it and trying very hard to destroy the fencing. I'm beginning to think we need to research a stronger fence type and I'm beginning to think that we need to figure out how to calm these guys down. Oh my gosh! Like, this is ridiculous. I can't believe that they are so upset and I don't know how to make them happier. I'm really trying very hard, but it just doesn't seem like I'm figuring it out. So hopefully, maybe if we tranquilize them for just a second, everyone will calm down. Maybe like it's just the doom of having a wooden fence is that's how it's gonna go. Uh, but we're gonna carry on and continue to try to make these ones calm down. So we're going to add more grass to their exhibit. A new day means that we have a little bit more we can add to it. And I'm actually going to close off this exhibit and see if they actually need that much space or if I was just not understanding what kind of habitat these guys require. So we're gonna keep just two of them for just a moment while I figure this out. Okay, the biome of this exhibit is not rainforest. So let's change this to rainforest here in Honeyflower Meadow by adding in just a teensy bit more water and maybe if I make it perfect for them, we can add the dinosaurs back in. There we go, rainforest. One at a time to be able to understand. Okay, so then I think it's not space now. I think it's the biodiversity. So now the biome of this exhibit is not rainforest. Okay, let's keep adding a little more water. Yeah, now they're much happier. And now they're like, oh yay, this is definitely a rainforest. So that makes them a lot more content. But because I made it so big, I think we have to have like all of these trees and rocks added in, in order to really get the, um, in order to really, really count this as like a rainforest. So let's add in maybe a couple small apple trees over here. And then a big apple tree over here. And we might not be able to do as much as I wanted today because unfortunately, and let's remove this dead tree. And then let's go ahead and I guess we can leave that pine tree. All right. And we're gonna try to get the biodiversity up. I think I ruined things by making it, well, it said it was too small. So I was trying really hard <laughs> just to make my dinosaurs happy. And instead I ended up making a huge mess. Let's add in some little oaks over here. And yeah, I'm probably gonna run out of money before we can finish decorating this entire thing, but I'm doing like an oak forest. I really like this oak forest look where they can come through. Look at that, that's gonna be so fun. And let's do some small trees for the oaks. I think like a couple more, one, two, how many trees? I, I'm not complaining. I love having trees, but I'm like, now I'm out of money. <laughs> okay, so I'm out of money, but we have a much better exhibit area. I'm hoping that the enrichment and health of my dinosaurs will start playing out a little bit better with all of this space that they can start roaming in. Um, and let's go ahead and let's actually see if I can research better fencing because I'm really feeling some better fencing about now. I don't know about you guys. I think we could use some stronger fences. So here are our science things that we can research and we can add in Stonehenge with the monument pack. A moss arch greatly increased the decoration wonder of our guest. Heck, I would love to do that. I kind of have really, really like important issues like making sure that the guests don't just end up, you know, getting trampled because I don't have stronger fencing though. Are, is there a better fencing? So there, that's the rare gems. Here's Butterfly Delicious, which apparently will feed people. Starry Night for Walkways. That's really a wonderful cool down pack, which is ice cream scoops and wishing wells, bathrooms, more science so people can learn. Okay, so I don't think I get fencing from there, but what about fencing from over here? Log feeder, meat, metal fencing! It's on the heart tree! Okay, so I need to have, I need, can I research this? Okay, so to get metal fencing, 
<laughs> which I'm beginning to think is, and here's elite security for electric fences and pexy glass. Oh my gosh. So metal fencing would be medium privacy and medium strength. Uh, to get the metal fencing, I need to go down to vegetarians love carrot, which will give me cheese hats <gasps> for the dinosaurs. Oh my gosh. Wire doors and large feeders for the hungry, hungry dinos, which we're, they're growing. They're hungry. So let's research that. And then we're going to go diving after the metal fence. <laughs> expansion as soon as we can and how do i get hats for my dinosaurs that's a good question i know you're able to like give them hats but i don't know how you get them all right so we're a little closer to perfecting the beauty of honey flower meadow <laughs> fingers crossed hopefully pretty soon i'm gonna leave that expansion because i have a feeling once we add the other dinosaurs back in we're probably gonna need it i have a few things put down the sweet tooth areas put down and guests are spending a little bit of money getting some cotton candy um there's a little bit of junk on the ground gross can i destroy that get rid of that junk i think i have to wait for my janitor to come and take care of that but my janitor should be here soon uh, but yes, okay, so we survived another day without chaos and without someone trying to break out. Since I am broke as a joke, we just have to wait until, like, tomorrow. Should I go ahead? I think I'll go ahead and, like, start sending my scientists to dig while we're waiting. The Stegosauria area is locked. Um, but we can do some open portal and we can do some free explorations at some point and one of my employees has actually leveled up yay it's my scientist he's got three skill points <gasps> that i can assign yes speed is how fast he does a task ability is how efficiently he does a task personality is how well he is with guest tool use allows him to use more tools increases items found contributed by scientist identify huh Let's have him go up on his identify, but then let's also have him go up on his ability twice, because I don't think I need to worry just yet about what our researcher does. Um, I do need to find my other people though, because I think they leveled up too. Yeah, our veterinarian leveled up a lot too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go with speed for two of her skills. Teamwork increases digs of all employees. Wow, she's got some really good ability too, but I'm gonna do speed and ability on our vet because, you know, we kind of need to take good care of the, the little animals and rush anytime there's an issue. Um, security, we haven't leveled up on security just yet. And then finally, our janitor, haven't leveled up on our janitor just yet, okay. Phew! My gosh! It's been busy! We have some money! Quick! While we have the funds, get this biodiversity up! <laughs> I had no idea I would be struggling for biodiversity. Uh, let's get some apple trees back here. Yes! Okay, quick, quick, quick! Bushes, bushes, bushes. Alright, we'll get a couple of those. Let's get some daffodils down. There we go. Daffodils. Everybody likes daffodils. Oh, and the daffodils need to be near water? <laughs> these guys need to be near water or else I forgot the plants have needs too and if they're not near water they won't do well so I need to make like a little water spot over here for the plants too I love that I'm not complaining it's really cool that the plants also need to have their own needs met but it definitely keeps my life a little more interesting all right so let's get more bushes down and more of these little like quince, quince flowers. Thank goodness they're fairly cheap. All right, let's sprinkle those over here. Maybe a couple daffodils over here. Yes, okay, thank goodness. We now have good on the bushes. And now I just need like a bunch of granite over by the little mountain that I've made. Nice, nice. Oh, our expedition has arrived in the portal room. We will celebrate completing Honeyflower Meadow with this big, I love this big granite wall we're making down there. That's really fun. Um, and then let's do, ooh, a nice big chunk of basalt over there. Cool. 
And then let's do another big old chunk of basalt over here. And maybe... Ooh, let's do some more granite down here. I just like the look of like... There! Oh! Healthy biodiversity! Huzzah! You, you, you guys should have nothing to complain about anymore. Everything looks very good. About time. Let's add in the others and we'll see if it's just a matter of like the size needed to be right. Phew! There! All right, now what do you guys think? Is everybody still happy? Thank goodness everybody is still happy. <laughs> All right, be still my heart. I think we can actually take a minute to be able to go to the portal room and do a little bit of digging to celebrate the fact that we have upgraded the meadows enough that uh, everybody should be happy. All right, come on over. I wish I could rename some of the expedition crew because I would love to name these people after your guys' names. I'll try again after we're done here. All right, so... We've got a good, there we go. We've got a good security guard with us. This is our security guard now helping us out. And then this is me. I can tidy up those edges just fine. Let's see, L, can you do more digging? Ooh, that will actually get several pieces. And that will get two pieces at once, right? Oh no! <gasps> Apparently I broke them? I didn't know you could do that. I'll be more more gentle and delicate with them from now on. Heck! Okay, I will carefully remove these two. And there's three items left. Well, I know that one is definitely down here. All right, there we go. One here. Oh, cool! And I think when we're here, this actually helps people level up. So I am going to do a lot more digs because it looks like it helps my, um, it looks like it helps my crew to level up, and that's very important. All right, and then I will grab this piece, and then there's zero items left, so we are actually ready to return home. But okay, that's just me. I'm gonna do just in case this does help them level up. I wanted to do a few more. All right, there we go. So we gathered up some bits and pieces. I don't know what of. We can get Keratops footprints and Keratops skulls that can make new dinos. Let's actually come over to look at the eggs. Oh, that's where the hats are. So I can understand what those can create. So if I wanted to make ourselves a Kentosaurus. So if I wanted to work on a Kentosaurus, um, what would I need? I would need, I think an unusual gem. Are you sure you want to purchase the Kintosaurus? I mean, yes. Oh, I don't have enough hearts. Okay, so you need 10 hearts to unlock the Kintosaurus. Oh, I see. So the only thing we have unlocked is a Triceratops. And so to get a Triceratops, we need two of these Cara, Cara fossils. and or two of the Kara footprints and two of the Kara skulls, an imperfect gem, which can be found in the gem store. <gasps> oh no! There's an odd colored poop in Domi's domain. We'll go check that out in just a second. Uh, uh okay. Ah, uh, the dinosaur might be sick. Okay, I'll be there in just a second. Uh, and then to get more gems, we actually need to go into town to the gem store. I see, and then getting the, you have to unlock the different types of gems you can get from, is it the science? Is science the, the answer for being able to unlock the gemstones? Science is the answer to unlock the gemstones. So I'm just gonna unlock the uncommon gem right there. There's the rare gem up here and there's the epic gem down here. Okay, so that helps me know how we get the gems and we buy the gems in town and then here are the hats. <gasps> we have a space hat. We have a pumpkin hat, witch hat, and cheese hat that we can put on the dinos from Dapper Dinos. Okay, that would be amazing. What's not amazing is that here in Domi's Domain, we actually have a sickly dinosaur. Oh, who is sick? That is not good. Sick, but not yet contagious. We need to get her health up. I don't know how to take care of sickness. How do you take care of sickness? Medicine chart. Oh boy. All right. And this is how you have to figure out like what they have and what's wrong. 
So they need good social enrichment, food, privacy, and exhibit, or else we end up sick. So I think my sauropod is sick. And can you figure out what they're sick with? Okay, medicine. Ooh, medicine's expensive, but I don't want them to be sick. Okay, I think the best thing we can do for Bonnie is that now we're going to start working on making her exhibit really fancy. Ooh, okay, so Bonnie, you're up next. Now that we have apparently finally placated the chaos, oh, we need to add more, wait, do we need to add more privacy? Needing a more private exhibit, being looked at by too many people right now. All right, Bonnie, I have not forgotten you. I just am gonna put down some privacy tiles here and here. And we're gonna put some over here and back here. So that the dinosaurs feel like they have some space to get out of prying eyes. There we go. And then, let's see. Can I put down a shelter? I can. Let's put a nice rock shelter which I think these guys here are actually going to outgrow pretty soon. But I want to put a rock shelter like right here. And that's all the money I got for that right now. Phew, okay. All right, and our, our employees are actually leveling up. So I'm gonna go for ability all the way on my vet who has leveled up a lot apparently. And we're gonna review the day's income and then get ready to take good care of Bonnie. But all right, so we gained eight hearts today. Yes, our dinosaurs are finally starting to get a lot happier. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, food and drink, even though we only have like a stall selling a whole bunch of cotton candy is actually going up really well. We have had how many guests visit this exhibit today? Let's find out, 200 guests here. I think if we bring people up along the edge so they can actually look into the exhibit a little bit better, then we get even more people. And Bonnie definitely needs some big help. I think Bonnie's exhibit is starting to get too small. We'll try to expand it as much as we can. I think I need a bridge and then I, well, even if I had a bridge, Bonnie, Bonnie is a long neck. <laughs> She'd just crash right into it. So we might start making Bonnie a new area back here and then turning this into like a smaller dinosaur zone. Maybe even put some baby dinosaurs in there when we have baby dinosaurs. Yeah, if we can get baby dinosaurs. But all right guys, heckin', there's a lot happening. Next up, we're going to rescue Bonnie. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful dinosaurs. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.